Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in Siemens NX. In this NX tutorial, we are going to learn how to model this pipe bend. In this tutorial, we are going to see one by one in the pipe bend. After modeling this component in, in NX, the component will look like this. This is the component. These are the steps I have followed to create this component. Now we'll learn step by step in NX. First go to the file, new, here model, our units are in millimeter so make sure you have chosen a millimeter, specify, specify the name of the part and specify the location where you want to save the file. Just save ok. For easy modeling, I'm just going to keep this figure left side and the software in the right side. Now we will model this component. First, we will ex extrude along the path. That means sweep along the gate, we will do it. First, we will uh, draw the gate of this pipe. For that, go to the sketch. Front plane, just say OK. Take a line. First line, press the roller to confirm. Again, press the roller to confirm. This length is 88 from 88 minus the radius of the value just click here 88 minus 35 say no say no press the roller to confirm now we have created this this line then we just want to put a arc just take the arc with the center and ends this is the line just take a center somewhere here and this point and this here now from here to this point this value just make it zero and this radius is make it 35 press the enter now one more line we just want to put is this vertical this vertical line this vertical height is 58 so just put a line one more line from here to here this height from here to this distance it is they have mentioned as 58 58 enter now we have defined the sketch sketch is fully defined just finish the sketch then we just want to define this section go to the sketch again instead of plane go to the on path choose this path take this point to the end point just say ok now draw the circle the circle has a diameter of here you can see the outer diameter is 40 just click here this one is 40 say no press the roller to confirm just finish the sketch now we can go for sweep along the gate just go for menu insert here there is option called sweep here sweep along the gate we have already section we have chosen select the gate as this one solid just save ok now we have created this one <coughs> then we'll go for creating this feature the dimension they have given here so just go to the sketch again instead of path choose the plane here select this one change this arrow reverse the direction just save ok now we will create a circle whenever creating any object first do the add material feature the same thing I am going to do it here the outer diameter is 50 78 press the roller this one is 78 just say no then this is circle only just extrude it just finish the sketch 
just extrude change the direction inside it has a thickness of 8 mm 8 just say ok now we just want to make 4 holes to put the uh, nut and board let's go to the sketch again select the surface change the direction just say ok now just put put the circle take it draw a circle it has a diameter of 10 then say no and this has to be mirrored this side also select this one go to the mirror select the center line as this one just say ok now the center distance between this is 60 so from this point from to this point which is 60 the same way we have to create here also just make a circle here these two circles are equal from here to here it has a dimension of 30 the same has to be mirror in that side also mirror select the center line this one just say ok then finish the sketch extrude change the direction here subtract make it until next just say ok now we have created this then we just want to create this feature this one this feature here just go to the sketch select the surface just save ok same view only now we will create the outer sketch first take the circle just put the circle here it has a diameter of 30 it has a diameter of 30 say no the center, center distance is Twenty nine. From here to here, the distance is twenty nine. Press the roller to confirm. The same has to be mirrored in that side. Select the sketch, mirror. Select the center line. Just save OK. Now we just want to put this circle. Just take this circle. Put like this. The diameter is seventy. Press the roller to confirm. Now take the line. Draw the tangent line. Similarly here. Similarly here. Now remove the unwanted edges by using a trim option. Now we have removed, just close it, <coughs> just finish the sketch, extrude, change the direction, not subtract, just make it unit, the thickness is 11, 11.0, just save ok. Now we created this spray, then we just want to create a hole. Go to the sketch. Select this one. Save OK. Now take a just finish the sketch. Remove the sketch. Now just take a hole. Here, simple hole with the diameter of 12, diameter is 12, 
until next subtract just apply similarly here we just want to make same just ok now we have created complete features then we just want to make a add remove material feature of this hole this path for that just take a take a sketch this surface change reverse the direction just say ok now make it entire assembly circle this point put a circle the inside diameter is 26 this one is 26 press the roller to confirm finish the sketch now just go to the sweep along the gate the section is this one the curve is the first one here we just make, make into subtract just save ok now we have created the complete object finally we just want to make small rounds of radius 2.5 here and here now just go to the edge blend select this edge view. the radius is 2.5 Similarly here, the radius is 2.5, just save OK. Now the full features are done. All the features are drawn. To view this section view of this component, just go to the menu, view, section. First click the clip section, then again go to menu, view, section, edit section. First one is plane we can choose, just ok. This is the section wave of this component, the, the same section is shown here. To add the section view, go to the view again, section, clip section, click this clip section, you will get the previous one. In this way we can see the section view of the component. I hope you like this video. For the next tutorial, we'll come up with a new component. If you like this video, please share to your friends. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you.